All right. So this autofocus on this thing is terrible. I'm sorry. You know, I don't have another. <laughs> I don't have an auto lock on it. So I'm sorry. Uh, so we're gonna uh, tie this pretty sweet fly. I got it all laid out right here, so it should be go pretty quick. Um, it's basically, uh, this is an old Popovix fly. Uh, Chris Taylor had a version of it too. Jason Taylor has a step-by-step -step version on his Instagram. Um, that's where I learned it from. And uh, so uh, I'm going to make it slightly more complicated for no reason at all other than my own enjoyment. <laughs> Uh, but you can take from this what you will. As I said, you know, this is pop flies kind of, so anything can, uh, uh, and, you know, anything can, you can take any of these techniques and apply them to a lot of different other stuff, you know. So, oh, so here. Uh, it's going to be a pinch of bucktail, pinch of squimpish, a hollow tie of bucktail, some chocolates filler flash, a throat, and a topping of squimpish and some jungle cock eyes. The hook is a partridge attitude extra in 3 aught. Um, I ran out of 4 aught. So let's go. A Rex short, TP610 short would work great. Um, yeah, stuff like that, hooks like that. So we're gonna. Push some bucktail on here and distribute it 360 degrees. Oh, we're going to put a little bit of flash right here, too. Uh, what do you think, Pearl? Yeah? I have a glow. We'll just do a little bit. I like to put flash blends too. I always like to put two, like it's minimal, like two different colors, but that's okay. There you go. Right. <coughs> so let's set this with some schmoo. forward a little bit and do a bullet tie of squimpish. Now the squimpish is going to be a little bit longer than the bucktail here so so you know about right there I think. Gonna do a bullet, so I'm going to um, just wrap it around and then, <coughs> pardon me, we're gonna go, we're gonna do a really tight bullet, too. We're not gonna go over too much, we're just gonna go really as close as we can uh, to the edge here, right? A really tight bullet like that, all right? See that? It. Step down. Alright. I always like to whip after I do a bullet. I don't know why. <laughs> then we're going to glue it too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. That was too much. Too much schmoo came out. Alright. So. Looks pretty good, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So let's do a little forward again here. About right, right about here. And we're gonna do a a hollow. Very, very uh, sparse. Sparse, sparse, sparse. Uh, I'm just thinning out my stack right now. Okay. So, like, this is wavy hair, so it's going to look like more than it is, but it's pretty sparse. Uh,. Uh, I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> that was your, uh, everybody having a good new year? Oh, I know what I can say. I'm going to be in, uh, I'm going to be at the fly fishing show in Edison in January. I believe it's the 26th the 28th uh, in Edison, New Jersey. I will be there uh, tying at the Squimpish booth. So if you want to come see me, stop by and hang out. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. You know, get some Squimpish. It'll be sick. So, okay. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit tighter. When I say tight, I mean the angle of the, the hollow. It's like tight. I want it like kind of almost like a. I maybe even could have done just another pinch bucktail. Uh, straight pinch. But we gotta be fancy. Alright, that's good. Okay. Now, we can do just a little bit of chocolate filler flash. Get this stuff here. Most of these things, a lot of these kinds of chenilles and stuff, you can just, uh, you can pull it out to start the to, to expose the core don't do that with this <laughs> right you're gonna regret it uh, just trim away like this uh, over the garbage though not into your lap like I'm doing just trim away the end and then tie in like that expose it like that right uh, because it's uh if you start pulling on it you're gonna regret it trust me uh, I like to work it out of the bag too uh, I just hold the bag <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the reasoning is, is because, look, I always used to cut, like, a section, right, and then tie the fly or tie a couple flies, and then I always either have, like, extra, right, I always, like, have extra, like, a little bit, I always put it on the desk and just leave it there, but I ne it was never enough to, like, tie a whole fly with, so it, was, it seemed like I, I was wasting some of it, so now I just kind of work it out of the bag.
Clean it up a little bit, and I'm just going to go back over it a little tiny bit right here so I have some space right there. So now we're going to do a little throat of squid fish. This is too long, so I'm going to, this is too long, so I'm going to stack it down a little bit like that. All right, I'm going to taper it a little bit like that. That's about about where I want it. Just a little too long. So I'm going to stack it one time. Yeah, I think that looks good. Filler flash is sticking out on the side. It's, it, it tends to uh, push the eye out a little bit. So I just kind of that's it, just on the sides. So, okay, now uh, putting my balls in here. Yeah, this is a great little, like, kind of slim bait fish, a little deceiver pattern, you know, you can make this, like, little thread fin shad, or little, uh, you know, sardinas, or, depending on where you are, a little, uh, perchy, you know, you could tie it with green, and then just bar it up with a, with a marker, and make little, those little, like, you know, four-inch perch that pike like to eat four and a half inch perch, you know, uh, this is sweet, man, all right, just clean this up a little bit, Clean it up with my Anadromous Fly Company scissors here that are the best uh, that I've used here. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on their pro team. I'm saying that because I've used their stuff for a while before I was on their pro team. And I generally believe it's very good. You can go to their website, check them out, AnadromousFlyCompany.com. How about that? Huh? It's pretty sick. Let's whip and glue and then give it a bath. And then it'll look even cooler, huh? I always do two. I don't know. About y'all. But that's what I do. Sick. Let's go give her a bath. Have a good one.